I'm Todd Aiken, and I approve this message. Are there any circumstances in your mind in which an abortion should be legal? Okay. What about in the case of rape? It seems to me, first of all, from what I understand from doctors, that's really rare. If it's a legitimate rape, uh, the female body has ways to try to shut that whole thing down. But let's assume that maybe that didn't work. He could not possibly be serious talking about legitimate rape and the female body. Because I'm going to tell you right now, that to me is news. As a matter of fact, let's discuss the legitimacy of the rape that's going to take place when we release this man into San Quentin's general population. And then let's see how the natural functions of his sphincter or his butthole are going to help legitimize the rape that is in fact going to take place from the back. Hmm? Let's see how his manly and masculine male biological functions kick in to prevent his uh, <laughs> intended pregnancy. Let's see how that works out. Let's see if we can call into question the legitimacy of the rape because his sphincter was not able to naturally and biologically block out the penile entrance. Let's see how that works. Hmm? Would you like to try that, Rep Atkins? Rape is an evil act. I used the wrong words in the wrong way, and for that I apologize. Did he just say what I think he said? <laughs> well, I'm going to forgive him because forgiveness is key. And I'm going to make sure that he gets my vote because I know at the heart of it, he simply did not mean that rape was illegitimate, you see. He was simply saying that life must be preserved in the interests of the common good of man. That's right. And he made a simple faux pas by saying that legitimate rape. Wait, what am I talking about? Oh. <laughs> I, I, I got a bit confused there in trying to, to defend his position. <laughs> Forgive me. All I want to say is that abortion is wrong. Okay? God loves you. That's all I want to say. So, um, Rep Todd Atkins, he has my vote. That's right, he has my vote. <laughs> Representative Atkins, I forgive you. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be trying out your diet tonight. From now on, I'm only ever going to eat meat from this point forward because I am a supporter of Representative Akin. He's telling us exactly what we should do for our own good, and we better listen. The mistake I made was in the words I said, not in the heart I hold. I ask for your forgiveness. White people, this who y'all really want representing you? Better it rape and let nobody's woman gonna shut it all down. You selected this fool to go and vote on your behalf over there in Congress. So don't be hating on Obama because he didn't get shit pushed through. He had to go up against these kind of fools. This one right here, you see this? Look at this. Stop blaming Obama. It ain't Obama's fault. This shit is all up to you, white people. I'm just the messenger, okay? He said it. He thinks there's such a thing as illegitimate rape. Y'all don't now 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 white people. I'm telling you, don't need let don't reelect this fool because this news story done gone around the world. And guess who's the butt of the joke? So what I'm trying to tell y'all is if I could get through. Stop electing people who are just as dumb as you. I've never even heard of this fool before, but I'm gonna let you know right now that subscribe! I just want you guys to know that around the world, you know who's representing me? You wanna know who's representing you? He's gotta go. Tweet, like, Facebook, subscribe, and share with all your friends. Spread the word. Even if you don't like what I said, tell everybody. Tell them how much you hate Dana.